Welcome to Happiest Places Home. We're taking a look at this beautiful Pottery Barn room. It's such a nice design, and I'm going to break down the different pieces and show you how this $11,000 room can be purchased for $3,600. At the end of the video, we're going to explore the whole look of the room and why it works so well. We'll start at the bottom of the room with these leather woven chairs. This is a gorgeous, rich leather, and each chair is $6.99. I think that if you had the budget to buy this chair at Pottery Barn, that's the one I would take. But if you don't, I did find a dupe for you. But first, let's explore exactly what it is. So it's the Shea Woven Leather Accent Chair, $6.99, like I said. And the optimal choice is the uh, light caramel. That's what's shown in the room, but I think also it's the prettiest choice. So let's take a look at the dupe that I found. This chair looks so similar and the colors of them are more similar than you realize. It just depends on the light, but this one happens to be pleather. So fake leather, Amazon, ball and cast, mid-century chair. Um, the price is fabulous, isn't it? $144 per chair versus $699. Here's another peek at our gorgeous room and taking you to the next step, which is this accent table. Pottery Barn's Mila Round Concrete Accent Table. It's $399. So it really does pull that area together in the room. I did find a wonderful dupe for it. It looks like the same exact piece. It's the Bush Furniture Camila Accent Table, $147.99 as opposed to $399. Don't forget to stay tuned to the end of this video to learn from the many well-executed design rules that Pottery Barn adopted into this design. As we know, it's one thing to find particular pieces, but it's quite another to figure out how to put them together in one cohesive, gorgeous design. Next, feast your eyes on the fuzzy stools over there to the right. So these are the Mongolian faux fur stool. It's $254 right now on sale, so per stool. And I think that they're so adorable, but I found a dupe at Ashley Furniture for $79.99. I'm sure you're noticing, just like I did, that the shape is not as uniform as the Pottery Barn version, but they are a really nice dupe and the price is just fantastic. I was really excited to get to this point, the coffee table. This is the Folsom Coffee Table by Pottery Barn. It's $7.99. So if you ask me, I don't think that you should bother to find a dupe of this because it is perfection. It has such beautiful clean lines and there is nothing exactly like it out there, I promise. There are smaller cubes that you could put together as two, but I did find a dupe, but still, I'm recommending the, the original. But it's the Wayfair Greek coffee table, $425.99. It does have a cool pattern on the top as opposed to the Folsom, but I still prefer the Folsom. This is Pottery Barn's Big Sur Square Armed Sofa. So the square arms do make this piece so unique, and the one in the design has three seats uh, and three cushions in the back. I like a full seat, um, just one piece typically, but of course the design's gorgeous. They selected the chambray fabric, color fabric. But the dupe that I have found for this is the Macy's Radley Fabric Sofa. While the Pottery Barn piece is $24.99, this clocks in at $849, very affordable. The square arm doesn't have that gorgeous look that the Pottery Barn one does, but it is a very close similarity there. I showed this also in a robin's egg blue, which they carry, and that might be a little closer to the trendy light powder blue sofa thing that's happening right now. The powder blue look is kind of a high-end luxury situation, and if it were me, I would get a more neutral sofa. We're jumping into some textiles. Let's start with the area rug. 
Pottery Barn has an abundance of beautiful rugs in this colorway. I was unable to identify exactly which one it was, and I tried, but I think it looks the most like this, although it didn't have fringe. So I'm showing you this one just to give you an idea of the price points of a rug that would be eight by 10, because a rug that I found that's very similar to the one in the design photo is this one. So Home Depot New Loom Carry, 8x10, $121.95. If you've been shopping for a, an area rug anytime recently, you'll know that that is one of the lowest prices you can find on an 8x10. Now, the uh, materials are not very natural. So if that doesn't bother you, then I would totally take advantage of this price. But if you want the higher quality materials, obviously Pottery Barn and other retailers are going to be preferable. Pottery Barn's Basilia Velvet Throw Pillow, just the cover, $42 on sale right now. It's a beautiful pillow and that velvet fabric is very high quality. But I found something very similar at Hobby Lobby. It's the asymmetrical tapestry pillow cover, $9.99 each. And then I show you there how much it would cost to get a pillow filler, which you may already have, but I did include that in the total as I added it up. Pottery Barn's Belgian Flax Linen Hand Knit Throw Pillow comes in at $99. This one you don't have to stuff, you get the complete pillow. Now, I did find something that looks very similar and is a fabulous material. It's this natural cotton linen throw pillow. It's 12 by 20, which is what the pillow shown is, and you get two pieces for $13.80. I can't pronounce what the name is, but try to make a note of it. And I do have links to all of these items in the description box. The next item is one of the most unique pieces of furniture that I've seen at Pottery Barn. It's so unique in the material and the design, but more so the design. It's the Woolsey Round Metal Accent Table. It's $1,039. This piece is so unique, I couldn't find anything like it. Other retailers do carry the exact same table, but they are all in a very similar price range, some in the 800s. I did find something that's in, let's say, a similar style. It's the Safave Lacy Plated Gold Ceramic Decorative Garden Stool. It's only $83.59. I happen to own something like this. Mine is in white and it's held up for two years perfectly and we keep ours outside. But this is fine to go inside and it's pictured that way. Now it's time to tackle those really fun roll armchairs in the back. Uh, the Pottery Barn version is shown here. It's the Cameron Roll Arm Club Chair, and it's in the indigo fabric, which is very beautiful. So I did find a dupe for this, and I think it's a really good one. Here is the Macy's Radley Fabric Armchair. If you'll remember, the sofa that we picked out earlier is the same name, so it's all part of the same concept, which um, you, you don't want matchy-matchy furniture, but of course it doesn't because the selection of color. I found it interesting that the color selected for this particular chair at Macy's is called Naval, which is the name of a popular paint color that Pottery Barn partnered with Sherwin-Williams on. One of the more striking things found in this design is actually the faux potted uh, banana trees in the back. I like how they're uniform in space and it is a really beautiful product by Pottery Barn. The tree without the planter on sale is $348. If you have an interest in the real thing, here is a real banana tree that needs to be uh, right in the window for sunlight by brighterblooms.com and it comes in at $89.99. One of my favorite songs of all time is Radiohead Fake Plastic Trees. If you have a minute, look it up, but I put the lyrics here and it's about, well, one of the lyrics is about fake plastic trees and it's regarding the description of a woman and how she's a bit fake and how her husband helped women be fake by being a plastic surgeon but long story anytime i hear it i always want to remember to not have fake flowers or trees in my house when possible Moving on to another super real item. It's this carved wooden table that Pottery Barn's offering. It's the Santoli round end table for $2.99. So newsflash, 
I've learned recently uh, that these tables are extremely popular. And there's a retailer, jamieyoung.com. The Jamie is spelled J-A-M-I-E. And her and her husband offer these sculpture looking tables made of real wood. And I'm seeing them everywhere. I found a dupe for the Pottery Barn table at Wayfair. It is not as beautiful as the table they're offering, but for $73.99, that's a beautiful savings. The Costello end table, and here's another look at it. So if you were to put all of the gorgeous items that Pottery Barn offers in this design in your cart without the lighting, it would be $11,114 with a $15 savings. Alternatively, when you add up our dupes, it's $3,618.26. There I am browsing through to show you all of the financials. I purposely left something out until now. It's Pottery Barn's Kenora Chandelier. It is massive, 71 inches long, uh, made of bronze. So it's a really interesting piece, and you can see that it's the flashy piece in the design. It's $3,509, and I felt like that kind of puts all of the financials off kilter. Although I did find a dupe for it, it's the 1 800 Lighting Rainforest Chandelier 2807. It's the same thing as far as I'm concerned, it looks exactly identical. If you factor in the lighting, the total for Pottery Barn is 14623 and include the same lighting in our dupes, it brings us to $6,425, saving you $8,100. However, one of the benefits of purchasing your items from Pottery Barn is the fact that they have skilled interior designers who can help you make selections and plan your rooms. And that is an ideal way of doing it if you have the budget. Together, let's explore the design principles used in this room. You'll hear a lot of YouTube interior designers talk about breaking the rules, but as I did learn in design school, it's important to know what the rules are before you break them. And I can tell you that in this design, none were broken and it looks amazing. Let's begin with the symmetry of the room. There are equal parts of many of the design selections on either side of this room. So starting with the rolled armchairs, we can also take a look at that with the plants on either side and so on. Symmetry is very important to a high-end designer look and it's used very well here as you can see. You'll see at the area closest to us, the symmetry is slightly off, and that's because the stools were added there, which was a good design decision. Now you could have many design rules correct, but if you have too many straight edges or too many things that are circular, it takes things away from the design. So I was identifying what the straight lines are versus the circles that make it softer. If you put something that's rounded along a lot of straight edges, it just brings a softness to it that the design wouldn't have. Did you ever see a design that was rather stark and it did just look kind of cold? It's sometimes the round edges that can bring a softness to something, but so can something else. Introducing a variety of shapes, such as the shape of the banana leaves on these plants, and it does have such an impact because it's large. And then also florals, uh, little sculptures, which we'll call that in that nautical piece. And of course, the furry texture of these stools. But the biggest impact is that view. We leave these windows uncovered so that we can see a vineyard. It looks like a hill or a mountain and all of that um, beautiful texture with the trees. If you cover up that beautiful view, I'm showing you here how it does appear much more stark. So using the outdoors to create those shapes is a great idea. There is of course more we can talk about, but let's save that for the next video. We will do this again. So I'm glad that I was able to find you ways to save on the gorgeous designs that we all love at Pottery Barn. I'm showing you three designs. This is number one, uh, and I want you to choose which one you want me to do next. Here's number two, 
the blue room. And then the third is a bit more nautical and natural. So pick which one is your favorite and just say in the comments and we will tackle that project. Thank you for watching Happiest Places Home, the interior design channel.